Hello, lovely folks of YouTube. Ren here and Hades, who's going to be pestering me, I'm sure. But, um, mostly me. I'm the one who's going to be doing all the talking, at least. Mostly. Let's see. Um, anyway, I wanted to do another book review for you. This is a very important book. Um, at least as far as I'm concerned. If you are planning on any kind of green witchcraft, herbalism, herbology type practice, this is a must-have book. So I know I've talked about Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs and how it's like a phenomenal beginner book. It's a great reference even when you're more experienced. Um, how even though I don't, I still use it in my practice, at least for the tables in the back. Uh, the book that I want to talk about, well technically two books, but I'm mostly going to focus on the one. This is the must-have book if you're getting started, if you're more experienced, you have to have this book in your collection. This is the Master Book of Herbalism by Paul Bayer. This book is phenomenal. This is the book that's like our go-to in our tradition for any kind of um, magical herbalism practice. Um, this book, I mean, this book has been around forever. It was published in 1984, I believe. Um, and really nothing has come out since then to surpass it. It's fabulous. Um, so if you're just starting out, like if you have, like if your experience with Green Witchcraft is like Paige Vanderbeck's Green Witchcraft book or Aaron Murphy Hiscock's Green Witch, those are very beginner books. Those are like the 101 books. This is your 102 book. Um, it's going to teach you a lot of stuff that those books don't cover that are really necessary to advance your practice. Um, so there's two parts to this book. Um, I mean, it's truly a master book, master class. In herbalism, magical herbalism. Um, two parts to this book. The first part is, um, he calls it the remedial herbal, and that's focusing more on um, the actual medicinal uses of the herbs. So um, in that part, he's going to teach you how to do herb, uh, herb, ar uh, herb harvest, how to store it, um, how to make things with your herbs. Uh, your tinctures, your infusions, your decoctions, your um, poultices, you know, all those things that are traditionally used in medicinal uses. Um, he's going to teach you how to do that in this book. Um, and then there's a big chunk of section on the herbs themselves, which talks about some of the lore and the remedial, which is the actual uses, the medicinal uses of the herbs. It's like, what was it, pages 53 to 166, so it's over 100 pages of just herb information in this book, in addition to all the other stuff, which makes this book round out at over 400 pages. It's a chonky book, chocked full of information. So um, the second part of this is actually talking about the magical uses, and that part is going to be talking about, you know, herbs as a magical practitioner, so it's going to give you things like the astrological correspondences of the herbs, uh, planetary correspondences, um, how these herbs correspond with different tarot cards, how these herbs can correspond with different gemstones and crystals, um, and then of course magical uses of the herbs, how to make things like incense, uh, magical oils. There's a whole section on making an herbal amulet and um, the associated rituals that go along with it. Um, I mean just all kinds of stuff like that. Fluid condensers, potions, I mean just all, anything that you can think of that's herb related in either magical or medicinal practice, he's probably going to give you a good primer on how to do it. So phenomenal book, pretty much a must have. He also has a pretty extensive appendix as well. You can see there's like about 40 pages worth of appendices here giving um, traditional herbal classifications, listing herbs by, um, you know, some of their common names or alternate names and what they could mean, um, planetary correspondences, things of that sort. It's really extensive book. Um, now, the other book, this one here, The Compendium of Herbal Magic, as you can see, it's even bigger. Like, <laughs> this is a chonky book. This one's even bigger. Uh, this one's newer. This is newer. It's from like 1998. This one's about 500 pages. This one is just a reference on the herbs themselves. It's literally just an alphabetical listing of all the herbs with none of the, not very much of the how-to 
in how to use, you know, how to make a thing. Like, it tells you about the herb, but it doesn't tell you how to make a tincture or an infusion with that herb. It just gives information on the herb. It goes over uh, an extensive summary of the lore and then gives some of the magical usage, in, as well as just giving, like, a brief summary of, like, some of the correspondences associated with each herb. Fabulous book. This is a great standalone if you just need to know about herbs, but... If you want to know what to do with them, you need this book. I cannot recommend these books enough for any kind of herbal magical practice. These are basically my go-to books. Um, aside from Cunningham, these are the books that I use the most in my practice. I'm actually kind of surprised that more people don't know about these books because they've been around forever. I mean, we're talking about 84, we're going on almost 40 years that this book has been out. And nothing is better than this one. 40 years and nothing better has come out yet. Um, that's amazing. And it's also kind of surprising that, again, it's been around for 40 years. Why don't more people know about this book? So I'm hoping to change that. This is a great book. I cannot recommend it enough. Um, yeah, and don't be fooled by how new mine look. I'm very careful with my books. I get very, like, when people crack the spine on the books. So. Yeah, <laughs> they actually do get a lot of use despite how they look, so don't be fooled by that. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, it just kind of boggles my mind that like so many people don't seem to even know that these books exist because they're so good. They're so good. So if you are looking to deepen your practice with the magical aspects of herbs or even just start, you know, towing the line into um, medicinal uses, not necessarily something that I focus on, but, you know, it's there. The information's there if you want it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a great primer and basically has, I mean, pretty much, I won't say it has all the information you need, but it's, it's at least enough to get you started and to help you figure out where you have holes in your knowledge that you need to find more information because this will introduce a lot of concepts that you might not have even considered before and that you won't go, oh, I need to dive more into that. So um, one of the other things I like about him as well is that he actually gives sources for some of his information, unlike the herbal lore. He will quote things like Culpepper and Grieve and Gerard and a lot of those classic herbals that um, you hear about, you know, but unlike Cunningham, he actually tells you where he gets his information, which is so nice, so nice. So yes, definitely, definitely consider getting this book. Highly recommend it if you want to do any kind of serious green witchcraft. So that's what I have for you today. Hope this video finds you well, and I will see you again soon.